in this video we're gonna learn how to find the p-value then compare it with the level of significance this is alpha and then from there you're gonna decide whether you're gonna reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis all right the case that we're gonna study for this example is a right tail distribution and the z-value is 0 0.52 all right so i think the best way is to start by graphing this scenario which is right tail so this is z test it can be 0 0.52 this is going to be my z axis and over here it can be a zero so now the vertical line going out of the z test value you're gonna make uh, right tail and this right tail here is going to be the area of the p-value now what we need to do is to follow the steps of the hypothesis testing the method we're going to be using is the p-value method here are the steps so we're going to start with the first thing is to um, state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis all right this yellow part is the h1 all right so if i'm going to state my hypothesis the first one is going to be h1 which is the mean if he's located over here it can be greater than zero which is the middle always zero would be the negation of this and the negation of this is going to be either the mean equals to zero or in some books the mean is greater or equal than zero so the null hypothesis is always having equal sign in it now for the second step we're going to specify the level of significance which is the alpha and that is the value over here all right so the 0.05 so that's going to be alpha it's going to be 0 0.05 now we are ready for the third step usually the third step is to calculate or to compute the statistic test value in this case we are giving the z value so no calculation is required for this example so the third one we have the z test and this value is going to be 0 0.52 fourth step we can uh, determine what is the p-value so the p-value the p-value is always giving by the z test value all right which is 0 0.52 so either you can use a table or you're going to use the calculator in this example in this video we're going to use the calculator to do it so let's get into it so how do you find it is you're gonna go to a distribution menu second vars and then you're gonna go to normal cdf all right so the value is already plugged in so here you're gonna ask you for the lower the upper the mean and sigma so let's uh, discuss the lower end so this area that we are looking try to find right so here is this bounded area which is the yellow part right and that's what we are trying to find so what we need we need the lower end and this is going to be the lower and that is equals to 0 0.52 now this tail never ends and you're going to keep going so the upper end would be plus infinity all right okay so the mean by the way because we are using the z distribution the mean is by default is zero and sigma is going to be one so this is a standard normal distribution all right so let's plug it in it's going to be 0.52 here uh, the upper end you're going to plug in one and then second and comma to get the e and then 99 
that's basically 10 exponents 99 and then the mean is 0 sigma is going to be 1 you paste it enter and the value you're going to get the p value here is equal to 0 0.3015 okay we are ready for step number five so the fifth step is to compare the p-value with the alpha all right so the p-value here is 0 0.3015 and the alpha value is 0 0.05 so obviously here the p-value is greater. So what is going to be your decision here? So let me explain this uh, shortly. So the alpha value is always the threshold where you can make a decision, accept and reject. What does this mean? It means if I grab the alpha, which is this is going to be my alpha value. So this this area is going to be alpha value or alpha and let me clear a little bit and what's going to happen here this boundaries where the alpha ends is going to be the decision if you, the p value is going to fall from the right side of the alpha in this case you're going to reject 80 Otherwise, if it falls from the other side, you do not reject 80. So obviously in this case, we have the p-value is falling in no rejection zone. So you're going to say do not reject 80. All right. So or fail to reject, right? And that's all. We do not reject the null hypothesis.